Hey guys, it's Coach Chatty Daddy with Better at Beach Volleyball. We're here at PCI in beautiful St. Pete Beach, Florida. I'm here with Richard today, and we're gonna be doing a lesson focusing mainly on our hand contact when attacking the ball. I want you to think of having this bear uh, claw, or paw, however you want to call it, and I want it big. And I want this whole hand to wrap over the ball. I don't want your fingertips. I don't want the, the palm. I definitely don't want the palm. I want you to wrap the whole hand, the whole claw over the ball. So I'm coming up. When I go to hit, I'm wrapping this as big as possible. A lot of us go like that. Or we keep it like normal. We want a big paw. Because we, we want to cover as much space as we can on this ball. Okay, so when I come up, look at my hand. It is huge, it's flexed, it's not stiff, it's flexed over the ball, so like a ball shape. So if I did this real quick, that's, like, that's that feeling. Okay, let's see it. Okay. Not bad. Where'd you make contact? Like here though. Remember, out in front, right? I'm going towards you. Look at my hand. I'm gonna point towards you, I'm going out towards you. Better, okay, better. Now, the same thing happens when I toss from the ground. Get the elbow back here, high, high. That way I don't push it because your contact looks pretty good. Elbow high, then work on your contact. There, good, ball. Out, big, all the hand. It's gonna, the ball's gonna hit all parts of your hand. Go, oh, did you hear it? Did you hear it? That's the contact. It's not a float serve, it's not a two. It's a rah, it's a slap. Right? Good. Good, Richard. Pop. Give me that slap. Slap. Good. That was a little bit mu too much what? Palm. Yeah. You can hear it. It's like a thump instead of a slap. Pop. Palm. It's okay. Get a little bit higher on your body or on your hand. A little bit higher on your hand. So put your hand up. So you're going to swing and you're just missing it a little bit right here. Mm -hmm. And when you miss it here, you're going to stop, right? And you're going to get a little bit of rotation, but you're not going to get a true, pure contact and you're not going to be able to control it as much. When you wrap this, now, later on, when you want to go this way or that way, you're going to have the whole hand behind it instead of just the palm. So if I go to hit this ball and I go wrist to uh, thumb up and I go with my palm, I'm never going to control that ball as much as I want to go to the line. It's going to be more towards the middle. I'm going to hit straight away a lot. Yeah, I'm thinking about how can I manipulate this ball with my whole hand. So instead of here, think about a catcher. You ever, you ever play baseball? No? Yeah, well if I was a catcher and you threw a 100 mile per hour fastball at me, I don't want it to hit right here. This is gonna hurt. And I don't want it to hit on my finger. I wanna hit it right in the middle of that square, the meaty part of the glove. Cause then it, that's where the most cushion is. <laughs> okay, so when I make this contact, I'm going up thinking the same thing. Can I get it right here and then wrap over that ball? Not too low, not too high. I'm not gonna hurt my fingertips and I'm definitely not gonna hurt my palm because let me tell you something, that stings. It's not fun. <laughs> okay, so big palm, we, we'll call it the pocket. Hit the pocket. Good, ball. A little bit higher still. That was it. I can hear it, that was it, ball. And good. Okay, one little fix too, real quick, is if you're having trouble with it, Put your arm up. So instead of hitting down here so much in the middle, think about more in the inside of your hand to where, show me this, more on this side. Oh, I see. Okay? Because right now, we're kind of, if we miss it, we're missing it kind of low yeah. here. Okay. We want that ball a little bit more onto our thumb there. So let's see what happens. Okay. okay? So think about the pocket being more on this side than on this side. Okay. You don't want to hit it like this, obviously. Okay, you just want that ball to settle ever so uh, so much into that left side. Good. Look at that contact, huh? Show me. Okay, that one was a little low. Hand the ball right there, pocket. Good. I can just hear it. It's a smack. It's a crackle. It's, like, it's a high five, right? Like that contact instead of being like a a thud. Okay, you ready? All right. Ball. 
Freeze? Did you hear it? Yeah, yeah. Sounds really good. It sounds really good, doesn't it? Like that's when I think about like baseball, if I you know if you hit a ball, yeah. let's say baseball, bing, and you hit it on the right the sweet spot of that bat, man, it feels good. Have you ever hit a baseball? Have you, no? Um, have you ever played golf? Oh my gosh, come on, you're killing me, Richard. You're killing me. So, okay, in both sports, when the yeah. ball hits the club, whether it's a bat or, or a golf club, yeah. if you hit on the sweet spot, your hands don't hurt, the ball goes further, everything just connects, and it's the sound. Yeah. It think, yeah. right? It sounds beautiful, and it feels nice. Yeah. But when you hit on the inside of a golf club or the inside of a baseball bat, yeah. oh my, you just drop the, you drop the club, you drop the, it hurts so much, your hands, you can't absorb that. It, it sucks. <laughs> so when you hear that, that's what that you should be proud of that, and you should continue to feel that out, okay? Because that's an awesome sound. I don't care if it goes in still right now. I'm worried about that sound. I'm worried about where you're making contact. Because if you put that together, I guarantee you more balls, more, more balls are going to go in. All right, ball. Good. Yeah, <laughs> that's twice in a row. Good job, man. No, it's good, man. Come on, reach. That's okay. Now that time we got a little in front of it, but also that wind was like crazy. Yeah. And so if it goes behind us, you don't have to have a big jump. Just focus on what now? I'll get in. That contact, yeah. the contact. So let's say that ball happened to come back. I still want to get pop that contact because now I can make my shots. I it might not be a perfect situation. That's volleyball, yeah. right? Volleyball isn't going to be perfect. We'd like it to be perfect. But look at this win right now. Ready? Yeah. Up. You know what's funny about that? Is that when you drop the low, you look at my arm. It's gonna wanna go up. Now this movement becomes palm. Did you hear that time when you went? So if my elbow is low, I'm gonna contact the ball from low to high. And so now I'm gonna hit my palm more. And if I don't, it's gonna be really awkward to get all my hand on it. <laughs> but if I'm high, if I'm higher than the ball, now I can go on top of it. Now look, my whole hand can get on top of it. And that's when I get that smack. No win, come on, go get it. That's it. You hear that? That was a little, was a little different last time, right? Yeah. So when the ball's in the right spot for you, you're making really good contact here, which is awesome. Now you gotta think about, okay, don't rush to the spot. Because now we've learned if I get closer to it, the more the time, or the more in front of it I am, the harder it is to get my whole hand on that ball, which is what we talk about at camp all the time, right? Yeah. We're in camp, we're saying, hey, if you stay behind it and the ball's in front of you, you have more control for your shots. Yeah. Why? Because you're able to get on top of the ball here. Yeah. When you're here, you're just making contact. You're not able to put the whole hand on the ball usually. You're maybe maybe your maybe your fingertips if you if you paint brush it, or maybe it's just your palm and you're kind of giving it a float serve. We don't want float serves for paint brushes. Oh yeah, come on. That's okay, that was the paintbrush, right? More fingers. So I went, and if I swing too early, and that arm goes here, then that hand goes. Right, I wanna time it just right. And I don't want you to think you have to crush this ball right now. Right, because your, your main goal is what? Contact? So I'm not thinking how hard can I hit it? Yeah, you can swing like 70, 80%, that's fine. But when you're trying to get a, a technique down, don't think everything has to be 110%, right? I mean, like if I'm thinking about my, my, my hips, yeah. I'm going big as, as long, and then if I go up, then just snap the ball. Because I'm worried more on this than I am the hit. So right now you're thinking about not power so much, but getting that yeah. okay. slap, ready? Go, <laughs> you heard it, yeah. you heard it. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, leave the questions in the comments below. And we'd love for you guys to follow us, subscribe. And as always, like we say, let's get better.